let's talk a little bit about the hierarchy of protein structures. Now, whatever function is going on inside a cell, whatever function is going on, that is being done by proteins. And proteins, they have this uh, thing, which is their structure, their structure relates to their function. Now, what I mean by this is that proteins have very specific structures. Now, if that structure is lost, their function is also lost because that structure, that conformation, that shape allows it to uh, do what the function that is assigned to a particular protein. Now, proteins can have different hierarchies or different kinds of, uh, different kinds of uh, stages where they're folded into various kinds of structures. Now, when we all know that proteins are uh, made up of amino acids, where the amino acids are joined together by peptide linkage. Now, the linear form, only the sequence, the linear sequence of amino acids, that is, uh, that is the polypeptide chain, this is called the primary structure or one degree structure of the protein. Now, this primary structure or the one degree structure of the protein, all the information of its folding, of its, uh, of its folding into its true conformation is present in this one degree structure. And if that sequence is lost, if the primary sequence or the one degree structure is lost, if the amino acids are arranged in a different way, their folding, their proper folding is also lost. Now, these primary structures or one degree structures, they sort of locally fold. That is, if this is my complete polypeptide chain, and let's say this part is folding into an alpha helix. This part is again folding into something else. This part is again folding into something else. So if this is my structure one, this is my f structure two, this is my structure three, I would call these local structures, that is, a part of the protein, a part of the polypeptide chain is getting folded into a particular structure. This localized folding is referred to as the secondary structure or two degree structure. Right, so the primary structure, that is the one degree structure, that is the linear polypeptide chain is locally folded in certain parts and these locally folded structures is called the secondary structure. So we can have alpha helix, uh, beta sheets, or even beta turns. So all of these, all of these are local foldings and we call them secondary structures. Now when this localized folded structure of the polypeptide chain when this localized folded structure of the polypeptide chain folds on itself to attain a three-dimensional conformation or they fold in three-dimensional space. So 3D folding. Now when this happens, when they fold into a three-dimensional space attaining a proper proper state of proper folding, this is called the tertiary structure. Tertiary or third degree structure. Now, primary structure, secondary structure and tertiary structure, we have another set of folding or another uh, set of, uh, another set of structure, which is when different polypeptide chains when different polypeptide chains come together and they form a 
specific structure. So this is a polypeptide chain. This is another polypeptide chain. So we would call this the quaternary structure. Say, for example, <clears throat> hemoglobin. Hemoglobin has two alpha chains, that is alpha 1 and alpha 2, and two beta chains, beta 1 and beta 2. So alpha chains, they, they are, uh, you know, they are tertiary structure in themselves. And when they come together along with the tertiary structures of the beta chains, and they are uh, associated with one another, we call them the quaternary structure. So first, the primary structure, that is the linear sequence, linear sequence of the polypeptide chain, where the amino acids, they are just arranged in a linear manner. So we call them the primary structure. Then the localized folding, that is, this part is having a structure, this part is having another structure, this part is having another structure. So the localized folding is called the secondary structure. And we have examples like alpha helices, beta sheets, beta turns, and all that. Then we come to the tertiary structure where this secondary folded structures of the polypeptide, they again fold into themselves and they attain a 3D conformation or 3D folding. We call that the tertiary structure. This is the third level. And when different tertiary structures of proteins come together, different stru tertiary structures of polypeptide chains, they come together and associate, it with, uh, and associate it with one another. We call that quaternary structures, like in case of hemoglobin that has two alpha chains and two beta chains. And they associate, it with, uh, they associate with one another in order to form the functional hemoglobin. So that was all about the basics of hierarchy of protein structures. And you know, now uh, you again have these secondary structures dictated by something called the uh, torsional angles and uh, torsional angles and uh, dihedral angles and stuff like that. And we do it by using the Ramachandran plot where, sorry, Ramachandran plot where uh, the different allowed and disallowed structures they are given in a graph sort of manner and uh, that would be that would be a topic for another day but th this was all about the basics of the hierarchy of protein structures <clears throat>